What is going on guys? I'm Marvin here and welcome back to episode 16 of Rex to Riches, Bradford City FC. I know in the last episode, I told you guys that I'll be back in the month of March, but we have a very important decision to make in terms of this whole series, guys. Okay, so when you look at the inbox item here right now, you guys will see that Ajax have actually gave me a job offer. Okay, so when they came in, you know, uh, for a job interview, right, they actually offered me a job interview. I did not. You know, I, I did not approach them. I did not apply for any of the job. They approached me by themselves. Okay, so I actually spoke to them, you know, and when they asked me when I was going to be, you know, able to start the job, right? I told them that there's going to be the end of the season. And I, was, and I wasn't really sure whether they were going to give me a job, you know, because they wanted someone to come in, you know, immediately and start the job for them. But to my surprise, they actually gave me a job offer, okay? But... It, it, it has been so fast, you know, if you look at it, right, uh, let me just find, nah, they actually, they actually offered me a job interview yesterday, it was the 14th of January, if you look at this, you know, AZAC offer job interview, okay, so, yeah, the reason they, you know, they gave me an offer is because they feel that I'll be an acceptable fit for the club vision, you know, my strong commitment towards adopting a possession-based game, okay, yeah, I, maybe they are desperate, you know, for a, you know, for a manager, or maybe I'm just good of a manager right now. Okay, so before we get into the, before we look at Ajax, you know, their their offer, blah, 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 and everything and all, right? Before we look at their team, let's have a look at my profile first. Okay, so the reason they are interested in me, because look at it, you know, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually on the verge of, you know, learning to get the Continental Pro license, you know, it usually takes about one year, okay, for me to do that. And this is these are my attributes right now. And to be honest, if you look at my win percentage, my draw percentage, and our low, you know, and our loss percentage is very low, you know, in this whole series, 17% loss. And if you guys, if you guys know, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, Bradford City was not our first team, you know, in this series. Okay, so in this Rex to Riches series, we actually started our career in Malaysia. Okay, so I was the manager of KL Rovers. Okay, so we, we ended up, if you look at this, you know, we ended up winning the, you know, the M3 which is the second division, you know, in the Malaysian football. Okay, and I was the manager of Malaysian national football team as well. Okay, so we went on to win, you know, to win the FA Cup, the Super League, and there was a Challenge Cup that we also win. Yeah, the Malaysian Challenge Cup as well that we won. So I basically won almost everything except for one domestic title in the Malaysia. Okay, so from there, I actually resigned and I got a job, you know, with Bradford City. If you look at this, you know, I, I resigned in the year of 2027. It took me, you know, a few months to find a job and we were, we were actually, you know, um, appointed as the manager of Bradford City in the year 2028. Okay, so this was the end of the season and, 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 and I only played five matches, you know, with the team and yeah, that was it. You know, in the year 2029, you know, I actually got them promoted by being the champions of League 2 and, you know, we got back to back promotion, you know. In last season, we actually won the League One. You know, we were the League One champion and we won the Bristol Street Moto Trophy. It is the EFL Trophy. Okay, we won that. Okay, so yeah, I mean, things are things are going really well, to be honest, you know, with us in the championship as well. You know, as you guys know, you know, early on in the season, we are one of the favourites to get promotion, to, to get relegated this season, not get promoted, okay? We are the favourites, you know, to get relegated this season, but in the league table here right now, we are 16 points, 16 points clear of the relegation zone. So things are going really well for us, you know. Okay, so we are playing quite well. As you guys know, no, we did not start well. You know, when you look at the schedule over here, right? Yeah, we are. We are losing a lot of games as well. It is not like we are having, you know, a wonderful season and everything and everything is perfect. And, you know, it is just so, you know, basically it's just heaven everywhere. No. Okay, we are losing games and all, but, you know, we are fighting back, you know, we are winning some games, you know, drawing some games as well. It is just that the teams that are in the relegation zone, they are worse than us. Okay, so that is the advantage that we currently have as well. So, things are, things are going well. Things are going well in the championship as well. We are in the 11th place. You know, I know obviously, you know, looking, looking to get promoted to Premier League is so immature right now. Okay, I don't think, you know, even if we get promoted, right, I'll be super scared, you know, because... We are not, we are not ready. We are not even ready, you know, to, you know, to basically, you know, uh, to be fighting for promotion in the championship, to be honest. Okay, so, yeah, if you see, you know, if you look at our finances, we are not spending a lot of money on wages. You know, we don't have a huge bank balance or anything like that. So, yeah, this team is not ready to play in the Premier League. I will, I, I'll admit that. 
I'll admit to that. But things are really looking good over here. But Ajax, right? It is going to be a different type of challenge. If you guys don't know Ajax, they are you know they are one of the best team you know in Europe. Okay, I I, I wouldn't say that they are the best. Okay, but in in Netherlands they are they are the best team. I know in real life this season it is not really good going good for them. You know as you guys know. Okay, but this is this is you know twenty thirty one. It is seven years. It is eight years. You know seven years. Sorry, it is two twenty twenty four right now. Right. It is seven years, you know, um, after what have happened, you know, in the real life, blah, 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 and everything. Okay, so they are a super good team. Look at their reputation. Their facilities are amazing. Their youth recruitment, of course, you guys know, you know, Ajax youth recruitment is one of the best in the world. You know, they always find good players, you know, good youngsters and all, you know, yeah, to play in their team. And to be honest, when I look at their team, right, they have some really good players, you know. When we sort them, I, I know, you know, because... I've not been able to scout them because when you look at our scouting budget, we are over the scouting budget, so there's no chance for me to get any scout report on their team. But when I when I sort them out, you know, by their transfer value, right? Okay, look at this guy, you know, Mauricio Mora, 20 years old Costa Rican player. They signed him from, you know, from Saprisa, from, you know, it's a Costa Rican company for a measly 950k. And look at his value right now. This is the business that Ajax normally do. Okay, he's super tall you know he's a very good you know if i am their manager i'll be playing him as a ball winning uh ball playing defender okay so i don't really play with white center back very rarely i do that you know because i never play with three three you know three center back formation okay so they do have the likes of you know carlos borges you know so i'm not sure whether he's from yeah he's actually he's actually from ajax you know so yeah he's quite good as well okay so yeah they have a really good team and to be honest right uh when you look when when you sort them out by age right they don't really have a lot of old players you know in their team uh there is um there's about i, I don't know maybe five six seven seven i think seven right you know I, I i really can't count here yeah it is eight sorry eight eight players that are actually over 30 years so you know they even have you know owen windal still playing for them and yeah it is it is a very good team. Obviously, you know, in RDVC, right, Ajax always try to win that, you know, if if, if possible, they want to win it every season going in. I know, you know, in terms of the, in terms of the, you know, domestic title and all and everything, it might not be challenging. But if I get this job, right, I will really try to win a Champions League with them. Okay, I'm not sure whether that will be possible or not. But looking at the players that they actually have, right, you know, with a few players that I've seen, right, I think they do have a very good core. Look at this guy as well, you know, Danny, Danny Juan Lewin, Lewin, right? Yeah, I'm just going to call him Danny. He's an amazing pressing forward. Look at his physicals, guys. His work rate, oh my God, you know, his aggression is okay there. But, you know, for a pressing forward, right, his work rate, his decision making and his physicals are going to be top tier, guys, seriously. Okay, so he is currently, you know, the top goal scorer in RADVC. And yeah, I know, you know, um, you, you can't really see a lot of his career because as you guys know, you know, when I started the series, right, I did not load the, you know, the Netherlands, you know, uh, the, the Netherlands league and everything and all. But right now, okay, when you look at my, my leagues that are loaded, you can actually see. So all of this, all of this, um, all of these leagues are actually playable, you know, with the likes of, you know, France league, you know, Germany in Italy as well, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain. So all of these leagues are actually playable. So that's the reason why I actually got an offer. And that's the reason why some of the players, they are not going to have, you know, their, you know, their career history. <laughs> okay. You know, before, before I actually loaded their, you know, loaded the league system. So yeah, he's one of the players, but he looks really good. You know, look at his value as well. You know, 68 to 99 million. It's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, it, it's crazy how much I can actually, how much of willing and dealing that I can actually do, you know, when I become the manager. Okay, I know, you know, I, I seriously know, you know, that I'm actually sounding like a person that actually trying to convince myself to take this job. To be honest, I really want to take this job. Okay, um, yeah, you know, but I, I, in the back of my mind, right, I really believe that there is something that I can actually achieve with Bradford City as well. So that is the only reason why I'm actually, you know, stopping myself. I'm, I'm not really saying stopping, you know, but yeah, in a way, I really believe that, you know, 
I can actually bring this team. You know, not not exactly this team. Okay, I can actually bring this club to Premier League. You know, I'm not sure whether we can actually win the Premier League with this team or not. But yeah, I do believe that I can actually bring it to the Premier League. You know, and maybe play one season there or something. You know, but yeah, in 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 a content creator way, you know, if if I can get if 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 I can start a new series with Ajax, right? It's going to be quite nice as well, you know, because I can actually get some new. As you guys know, I'm a very new content creator and all, you know. So, yeah, you know, if I if 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 I start if I start managing Ajax and all, right, there'll be a different demographic, you know, that can that will actually be exposed to my videos and all and all of that. Yeah, you know, to be honest, this is uh, this is basically a Sophie's choice for me right now. But yeah, I think right. I think most probably since this is going to be at the end of the season, right? I'm not going to be I'm not going to be leaving the club right now. I think I will have to take the job. So I really hope I'm not going to regret this. But they're actually giving me a huge contract, you know, three years contract. And when you look at my current contract right now, right, with Bradford City, okay, so they're actually paying me about two hundred eighty-one k. So I do have two years contract, and of course, you know, uh, Bradford is gonna get paid, you know, for from AX, you know, they are gonna be paid about five hundred and fifty k, almost half a million, you know. So it is gonna be quite good for them as well. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna be taking this job. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try to ask for more. Okay, let's try for four hundred k. Suggest them no three hundred fifty again, three hundred ninety, three hundred fifty as well. 370 no they they are not gonna budge from the three okay they gave me 364k so that is about you know 80k extra per year and i'm gonna be spending my time in amsterdam all right so yeah it is confirmed now okay so what am i gonna do is i know we are we we were supposed to come back you know in the month of uh march where we were supposed to play against you know derby county and leicester city so what am i gonna do is i'm gonna play through all of this game and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so do not go anywhere. I know there's a lot of game here. There's about, you know, more than one month here. But in the terms of the video, it's going to be a few seconds only. So do not be alarmed. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I know I told you guys that I will be back for the game against Derby County and Leicester City. But since we have been drawn up against Manchester United in the FA Cup fifth round, this is going to be the game that we are going to be playing today. All right. So last season, we were knocked out, you know, by Manchester United in the FA Cup fourth round. Okay, we lost 1-0 to them. And today is going to be almost the same thing. You know, hopefully we are going to be able to play even better. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, right, last season when we played them, right, we actually had a player got sent off, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so hopefully, you know, today everyone is going to be well behaved. And let's see, right, if we, if we can actually do and cause an upset. Who knows, right, we can actually cause an upset here today. So we are going to be traveling to Old Trafford. Hopefully that will actually help us, you know, in our financial predicament. To be honest, right, since I've actually agreed okay since i've agreed you know to join ajax right you, uh, you know at the end of the season things are going really really bad look at the wage budget guys you know last time right last time when when i was able to you know uh you know when i was handling the contract the transfers and all those kind of thing right you know we were actually in the black you know we were only spending about 12 million and all and yeah and since since i actually took that job you know basically you know once you take the job right once you a job if you look at this you are not going to be able to do any type of transfer you know you can't you can't transfer leads oh i can actually transfer leaf list players okay okay so i can actually transfer list player but i can't you know um if you look at this right i i, I can't I, I you know i can't extend their contract or anything like that so basically it has all has been done by my director of football and to be honest you know he have done really poorly you know seriously you know, I was really being financially responsible for the past three years. And yeah, he's messing it up for me. So to be honest, you know, I, I, I'm already leaving the club, but yeah, it is not nice, right? You know, the way he's doing it. Okay, so by the way, we have actually had three new signings. Okay, so our first signing is going to be Jack Darlington, who, to be honest, you know, I've only played him like, uh, you know, three times. He only made, uh, you know, a total of five appearances for us. Okay, not I think for us, it's only two appearances. Yeah, one in the league and one in the FA Cup. Okay, and yeah, he has not been playing well. We actually got him on loan from Watford. As you guys know, you know, Kate Gordon is injured until the end of the season. So, you know, this was actually my 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 transfer that I've done, you know, before, 
you know, uh, before I actually, you know, was offered the job by Ajax. Okay, so if you look at this, Edward Roberts is also one of the players that we actually got in from Manchester United. We got him on a loan deal. And to be honest, he is better than, you know, uh, Darlington that we were looking at just now. Okay, we got him on a loan. Okay, so we, he had already made five appearances in the championship. One assist, one man of the match. It's okay. It is okay. He's 20 years old, you know, so he's a body in the team, you know, because the the only good player, the only good right winger that we have in the team currently is Jeremy Sevi. So, you know, having Jake Darlington and Edward Roberts as the backup on the bench is quite good. Okay, so Real Healer is a player that actually, you know, signed, you know, to be a number on our left centre-back position, especially. Uh, to be honest, he has been not good, you know. Look at this, you know. 6.55 average rating in four appearances in the championship. Yeah, seriously, we are paying him 140k, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, we are not paying... Oh, yeah, yeah, we are paying him, you know, 140k. We are paying 100% of his salary. Luckily, it's only 140k. If not, that was going to be a problem. Okay, so, yeah. I seriously. To be honest, right, guys, I'll be honest to you guys, you know. I know it's only been a few minutes, you know, in the video uh, since I took that job, you know, from Ajax, right, but... I'm regretting it. You know, for me, it's been a few hours, you know, because I was playing through all this game. Okay, so, yeah, I, I'm really regretting it, to be honest, because look at our current form, guys. We were totally unbeaten in the month of January. And in the month of February, right, we have only lost one game, and that was a game against Rotherham. Okay, so, yeah, we have been playing really well. Our last loss, you know, in the championship, and when we are not talking about the Rotherham loss, okay, so before that loss, of Rotherham, right? Our last loss was in the month of December, where we lost to Southampton and you know Birmingham City. But yeah, we have been playing really well. And if you guys won't believe this, we are closer to the playoff right now. You know, we are only four points behind Derby County. If we can beat them today, right? In this episode, yeah, we are only going to be one point behind the final playoff spot. Seriously, I'm starting to regret you know taking that taking the Ajax job. You know, if you look at this, right? We I'm telling you guys, although it's not mathematically confirmed yet, but we are safe, you know, this season. Uh, when you look at this, right, you know, with another 11 more games to go, right, we are 26 points clear of Charlton Athletic in the 22nd place. So, yeah, I don't think, I don't think we are getting relegated today. You know, we are getting relegated this season. Sorry, not today. Okay, so, yeah, to be honest, right, I'm, I'm regretting it a little bit, you know, because I was not expecting us to, you know, play this well. You know, starting the month of January, right? Oh my god, we have been playing so well. I know we have lost against Rotherham, but today is gonna to be it's gonna be a problem because we are playing against Manchester United. You guys know they are good at Derby County, you know, as you guys know, they are occupying the final spot in the playoff. You know, after that, you know, we are gonna have the likes of, you know, Leicester City, Watford, Sheffield United, Reading. So these are all tough opponents. So the month of March is gonna be hard for us, you know. If we can get past this, right? Who knows, if we can stay unbeaten in the month of March, right? Yeah, I could I could actually bring this team, you know, into a playoff spot. That could be doable, you know. Because because approaching the end of the year, right, it's going to be easier games for us, except the game, you know, against uh, Southampton, maybe Huddersfield. Yeah, but other than that, I think it is, it is winnable once we get into the month of April. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too much, you know, because as you guys know, no, the, long, uh, the video, I don't want it to be too long. We have two more games to play. So let's just get into the game. Alright guys, so this is the team that I'm going to be feeling against Manchester United here. It's going to be Clark Ingo. Our four defenders are going to be Ben Jackson, Zabelli, Rex Yearwood and Zach Swanson. Tom Roberts and Tom Davies will be our two defensive midfielder. Brooklyn Andrew and Jeremy CV will be behind Sean Kelly as our striker up front. Let's just submit the team and get into the match. Alright guys, so we are going to have our first highlight here. It's going to be Jones for Manchester United playing it towards Todibo, now Diogo Dalo to Anthony. Anthony is still there, uh, Still, they are players. Seriously, it is a little bit so shocking, you know, that they still have Anthony and they have not sold him yet. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. We almost considered a goal there. Lucky for us, their shot actually hits the post and we were able to clear it. Okay, so it is the first 10 minutes here. I'm going to encourage the team. We do have one shot on target, but the highlights has been... Oh my God, what happened there? Okay, oh my God, what happened? Why is Jeremy's... Oh... Seriously? Oh my god. So we are going to have yet another another sent off, you know, against Manchester United. That's it, guys. Obviously, you know, obviously they are going to win from here right now. 
Oh my god. Now Anthony is going to take the corner kick for Manchester United. He found a pass to Nolan from the edge of the penalty box. His shot was actually deflected by someone. I'm not sure what happened there. Is that offside? I think someone was offside. Oh, the goal has been disallowed. Yeah, it actually deflected off someone. Diogo Dalo. Oh, it actually hit Diogo, Diogo Dalo, I think. No. Oh, I think Diogo Dalo was actually blocking, blocking Clark, you know. So, lucky for us, you know, but now they have a corner kick again. <gasps> Seriously? What are we doing, guys? Why Why does football manager always does this? Uh? Whenever you play a team that is, you know, that is better than you, that is bigger than your team, right? You know, you will always either, you know, concede a penalty or get sent off why why can't you why can't you let the big team to win using that gameplay you know how they play and all right i think that is that is better right rather than you know get get my player you know sent off and then and then we ended up conceding a penalty seriously serious bullshit sometime man seriously I tell you <laughs> this this is frustrating at times guys seriously I'm not sure what is going on over here. All of the highlights has been a corner kick, you know, for Manchester United. Okay, now, Brooklyn has the possession for us. He's But he's alone. If he can hold on to the ball, he managed to hold on to the ball, passed it backwards towards Rex Yearwood. And Yearwood is going to play it all the way back to Clark. Now, what is Clark going to do? He's going to lump the ball forward, trying to look for Brooklyn on the left-hand side. Diogo Dalo headed it clear towards Anthony. Now, Anthony passed it back to Dalo. On the right-hand side, he's trying to look for Hoyland, and that was an amazing save by Clark. But to be honest, you know, Hoyland's shot rise was straight to the keeper. He should have done better with a chance there. Okay, now, oh my god, the same routine that they are doing, you know, we should be able to, you know, we should be able to see the, uh, in, basically see their play and do something about it, right? Seriously, I thought our, you know, basically, you know, the new set piece that they actually, you know, uh, came up with, right? It was supposed to be a little bit more, a little bit more interactive, right? Where, 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 where the AIs and everything will see what the other opponent are doing, and then they will they will defend accordingly. You know, it was supposed to be something like that, right? So yeah, now we are gonna have yet another corner here. Seriously, I'm not sure how many corners you know Manchester United have actually had. They have actually had nine corners in the first half. My goodness. Seriously, we should wish. Oh, come on, football manager, give me a chance. All right, guys, I'm gonna tell the team that I'm not happy. I know we are playing against Manchester United. We are, you know, we are lacking by one player. But yeah, you know, yeah, that that is not the reason for me. Seriously, okay. So I'm gonna start the second half. I'm gonna encourage the team at the start of the second half. Look at this. They are controlling the possession. They have more shots on target. There's just nothing we can do about it, guys. You know, there's been no highlight of us attacking. It is always has been, you know, Manchester United with the possession or they are taking a corner kick. Ah, it's so frustrating, guys. Seriously. I really don't understand why FM, FM really do that. I, I, I know I'm repeating myself, right, but that is frustrating, you know. Now, Clark, lumping the ball forward, trying to look for Angerin on the right-hand side. Malasia got into the loose ball, playing it to Peterson. Now, Jones for Manchester United. Oh, that was a great interception by Tom Davies. But yeah, we are just lacking by numbers, you know, right now. You know, without an attacking midfielder, right? It is not looking good for us. But Tom Davies, his first ever goal for Bradford City. And he have equalized out of nowhere, guys, in the 52nd minute. Oh my god. Seriously, I was not expecting that, you know. Seriously. I, I, I think you guys can see, you know, from the way I was commenting it, right? Commentating. I don't think, you know, I was really, you know, hopeful that Tom Davis was going to go on and score, you know. He was unmarked there. I think they were just underestimating him, you know, being a, being a defensive midfielder, right? Yeah, they, the, you know, the defense did not give him any importance. They did not mark him. He ended up scoring an equalizer for us. And now Hoyland. That was an amazing block by Zabelli. But we are going to concede yet another corner here against Manchester United. Obviously, they're going to play to Nolan. Seriously, someone should be marking him, guys. If he, if he go on and score a winning goal from that set-piece routine, right? I'm going to be pissed. Okay, now Kelly. 
Kelly, what can you do? Oh, that was a good tackle by Jones, you know. But we are going to have a throw in here. It's not going to be shown in the highlight. All right, so it's the 66th minute here. I need to make some changes, you know. All right, so Ben Jackson is not playing well. He's on a 6.5, 6.4 average rating. I'm bringing in, you know what? I'm going to bring in Howie White, you know. Okay, Howie White is actually capable of, you know, uh, creating some chances and everything. You know, uh, this season, I know, you know, he has been playing quite well. You know, three assists in all of the competition, 6.84 average rating. Not that bad in the championship, okay. So, Brooklyn is not playing well. Okay, so for Brooklyn, right, I think I will be bringing in, you know, I'm going to bring in Gassan Ahadme. Okay, so Gassan will be playing as our pressing forward. So, Sean Kelly can actually play as our in inside forward, you know, on the right-hand side. And Angerin will be on his regular left-hand side, okay. Okay, so I know, no, Rex Yearwood and, you know, he's not playing well. Sean Kelly is not playing well as well. But I think I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, you know. I'm going to confirm the change. Obviously, you know, we are playing, you know, with one man down. Okay, so I'm going to encourage the team over here. So obviously, it is going to be really hard, you know, especially for the defenders, you know, to, to defend against a relentless attack. As you guys can see over here in the match stat, right? Manchester United, oh my God, Diogo Dalo have actually scored an amazing goal here there. Oh, seriously, that was an amazing goal by him. Okay, let's look at the replay, you know. Okay, Hoyland got into the loose ball. Okay, so he passed it to Dalo. First time shot, no chance for Josh Clark. Seriously. Oh, you know, you sometimes you have to give credit where it's due, you know. That was an amazing shot, you know, from range. You know, from Diego Dalo. Now, Nolan on the left-hand side. Passing it to Mainu. Somjit. Oh, it is blocked by our defenders. But they still have the possession. Twice, you know, we have blocked their, their, you know, their attempt for a cross. Anthony. Anthony. Anthony scored a goal against me. This is the newest kind of low, guys. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, guys, you know. If Anthony is going to score against you, right, you know, you guys know that, yeah, you are not doing well. You are not doing well in that match. <laughs> but but seriously, I, I'm not going to blame the players, you know. You know, we, I'm going to blame Jeremy CV seriously. You know, he got sent off there and left us, left us seriously in the dirt, you know, in the dirt. And yeah, we are struggling since that. Okay, so injury is super tired here right now. Sean Kelly is also the same. Okay, so as you guys know, you know, we have another game that we'll have to play on, you know, against Derby County. Another two more days, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I think I will have to take them off. But do I have enough player, you know, that can actually come in? No, I don't have enough players. Ah, uh, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. Okay, so you know, hmm. Okay, I'm just going to bring in, you know, uh, Darlington for. For uh, you know, for Angerin, okay. So Sean Kelly, you will have to play on another eight, eight plus more minutes. You know, hopefully you can actually hold on. I'm gonna encourage the team over here. I know we are losing the match and all, blah blah blah. But yeah, like I mentioned, there's just nothing we can do about it. You know, we got a player sent off. You know, we are ten men downs against a Premier League team. You know, against against Manchester United that have real quality in their team. You know, so yeah, I'm not gonna blame the team. I'm just gonna blame Jeremy CV. Seriously, I think that was a straight red card for him, you know. He's gonna, uh, yeah, he's gonna miss, you know, the next three games. That is gonna be super awful. Hey, all right, guys, it's gonna be a free kick here from Manchester United. There's another three more minutes to go. I really hope we can actually hold on, you know. Oh, okay, okay, that was a good job by the wall there, you know. Awful free kick, to be honest, by Lacey. Oh, Josh Clark, he pushed that cross, but unfortunately, it actually. Rebounded to Hoyland and Hoyland, yeah, you know, it was an empty goal there. You know, Josh Clark was, you know, he was on the ground, so obviously he was gonna score. Uh, okay, 4 1. That's it. You know, our momentum is gonna ruin. You know, we have lost two games in a row, and Derby County, obviously, they're gonna beat us as well, so it's gonna be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna tell the team that I'm that was not good enough, seriously. You know, I, I know we were down by one man, but we should have done better in terms of the, you know, in terms of our defensive play. Okay, so we are going to be playing, you know, Derby County another two more days. 
I'm going to rest up the team and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I know that we have lost massively against Manchester United. We, was, we, we lost 4-1 to them. But, you know, we are going to be playing at home here today, you know, against Derby County. And I really hope, you know, against Derby County here, we are going to be able to, you know, turn around our form. We have lost two games in a row here, you know, against Rotherham. We lost 2-1 against them. And we lost 4-1 against Manchester United in the FA Cup. Okay, so we are still in a very good position. I know, you know, initially we were supposed to, you know, we were supposed to be, you know, finishing in the, finishing, you know, outside of relegation zone. But the circumstances have changed, you know, we are massively, you know, close. We are so close, you know, to getting into the playoff spot, you know, this season. And since this is going to be my final season as the manager of Bradford City, right, I want to finish as high as I can with this team, you know. So let's see, let's see if we can actually beat, you know, if we can beat Derby County here, we are only going to be one point you know behind them you know they are, are currently occupying the final playoff spot so it is a huge match here you know for us okay now Andrew is going to be taking a corner kick trying to look for someone the near post sean kelly going to the loose ball passing it back towards Andrew again in the penalty box pass it to tom davis now nathan asim way right hand side you have four players in the penalty box great tackle by carl palmer there and the highlight is going to end seriously that was an awful highlight football manager seriously that was the only one highlight that we had in the whole first half and the first half scoreline is going to be nil nil okay we are creating a lot of chances here you know if you look at this you know three shots on target you know compared to derby zero so i really hope you know in the second half we are going to be do we are going to be able to you know continue what we are doing be more defensively solid you know as what we are doing right now we have actually stopped derby counting from creating any chance there okay so i really hope that will continue and let's see if we can get into the lead early on my goodness i'm not sure what happened there that was a mistake by the defender or cooper you know their goalkeeper it ended up <laughs> i don't know how it managed to find its way to Angerin's foot and Angerin have actually scored his 20th goal of the season i'll tell you what you know Angerin actually had an awful career you know before he before he actually signed with us when you look at his career stats right look at this you know he was awful you know he did not play a lot of matches i think he actually had a lot of you know problem with injuries you know when you look at this a lot of major major injuries that he have had you know in his career and yeah you know i i, I was really not expecting this type of performance by him you know for us this season 32 appearances 16 goals he's currently our top goal scorer guys you know and he has scored his 20th goal here today seriously i'm really proud of this boy you know he is really proving everyone wrong okay all right so the highlight just started with a cross coming into our penalty box and yeah and you know we basically heading it clear now mustier playing it to ogar for derby they actually have their own ogar as well okay <laughs> oh my god hassan Owe, he got into the header in the far post lucky for us he did not get to header it on target okay so when we look at the league table over here right if we win against derby look at this you know we will actually we will actually you know get into the eighth place in the in the championship and we will only be three points behind reading fc you know in the final playoff spot seriously that is where i want to be you know seriously that is a freaking good place for us to be for us to finish this episode here okay so ahadme is not playing well i'm gonna bring in you know abdul aziz for him okay so sean kelly is injury you know they are actually tired you know but we are only one one goal you know there's only one goal lead so yeah i can't i can't i can't really take them off you know because we really need their quality in the team you know they are two players that can actually create and score goals in our team so i'm sorry they will have to play you know full match i really hope they are not going to get any injury i seriously hope they are not going to get any injury there's another 10 more minutes left can we hold on i'm going to demand more here you know another five more minutes guys just hold on get a clean sheet against derby county it is going to be enough you know we are going to finish this episode with a win against derby county and we are going to be this close to a playoff spot look at these guys look at these three points behind reading fc and we actually have a better goal difference than them it is massive guys massive that's another you know 10 more games to play oh we could actually we could actually finish in the playoff spot this season but you know since i'm going to be joining uh since i'm going to be joining uh ajax I, if i'm not mistaken in the in the first of june yeah i think i'm going to be joining them in the first of june right 
do you think I will be able to get into the get into the you know what uh let me just see right let me just see if uh if if if, if i can actually see last season the playoff semi-final when was it held 18 of may okay 18 of may and the final was in the 26th of may so so for example if we if we actually finish the playoff spot right we are going to be able to we are going to be able to you know manage the team in the playoffs as well so Let's see, let's see if that is going to happen, you know. Uh, you guys have actually seen the league table. We are only three points, you know, away from a playoff spot. And we have another 10 more games to go. So what am I going to do is, in the next episode, you know, I'm going to be back, you know, for our end of the season. Okay, we will see whether we are still in the playoff spot or anything like that. Okay, we will, we will play against, you know, Huddersfield and Birmingham City to end things off. And let's see, you know, from there. Whether, is there going to be a playoff episode? Or are we straight away joining Ajax. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.